Hi, this is Murph, uh, and I'll show you how to install Salt Stack, uh, which is a, a basically uh, a remote orchestration uh, execution con configuration management uh, tool uh, that you can run on most of the Linux or Unix operating system. I believe uh, it also supports Windows, uh, and it's based on Python. To know more about it, you can go to docsalstack.com or I think saltstack.org as well. You can go to about and learn more about it. Uh, if you have a lot of servers that you need to manage and automate tasks or configuration management or package management. Uh, and you want to go to uh, each of the servers uh, individually and you know making changes or like writing your own script you know running that and you know updating all that uh, you can just use salt stack uh, because it does handle all the uh, execution and parallel in parallel uh, and and it's really great tool thanks to the salt stack team uh, Tom and Mark uh, or, you know leading this team uh, and uh, you know coming up with this kind of application um, it's really helpful and it's open source um, so I'm just going to install uh, the salt master uh, on Ubuntu 12.04 server VM that I have uh, and um, salt has the concept of uh, master and minion uh, I think it should be somewhere here uh, you can you can learn more on this website. I think if you move around, uh, you know, and over here. Uh, but what it does basically is say you have five web servers that you like to manage with Salt Stack. Uh, what you could do actually, you could have a Salt Master server, which basically manages uh, everything, uh, and then you can install and you can install the Salt Master server on say on a VM or or like a you dedicated a system for that. Um, uh, and you can basically make your web servers, like say five web server uh, systems, uh, minions, like a client that basically gonna be managed through that master. So, uh, or you can even make one of those web servers to master, it's the choice is yours, but I would, if I was you, I would uh, rather do master a separate server and make sure that has enough, you know, high availability and all that. Um, so um, I'm just gonna follow the uh, installation instruction uh, under this uh, Ubuntu since I'm gonna do Ubuntu 12.04 uh, insta installation instruction that's what I'm gonna follow okay so um, it's pretty straightforward I'm just gonna copy and paste first let me connect to my server so I have this uh, VM running on a send server. Just gonna grab the IP address. It's a one eight two one sixty eight one sixty four. I'm just gonna SSH to that from this uh, my desktop. So I'm already already done. That looks like. So I'll SSH to this uh, same box here. And it is running Ubuntu twelve point four. Okay, so uh, let's copy the first command. Um, First, let me add the repository. It does require Python on your machine, so usually Ubuntu comes pre-installed with Python. Oh, okay. I think I have to add this. Uh, Yeah, that's true. So I'm gonna use this method here. It's not present on my machine. Okay. Mm Let's say why. Okay, so it uh, it's done. Okay, let's now try to add this. Oh, 
Okay, now it works. Press to enter. So I added this repository. So now we're gonna try installing the Salt Master. Let's do a sudo apt up, update first to make sure that, you know things are refreshed. Paste. Okay, it's done. And now we're gonna install the master. Okay, we're gonna say why. Okay, so done. So now I have the salt master running here. So uh, just gonna now we're gonna go to the post installation tasks. <coughs> So uh, the master configuration is under uh, Etsy salt master file, and if you install Minion, uh, when we will install Minion at the later video, we'll show the Minion configuration. Um, okay, so we're gonna let me try running this. Uh, see if that works. Let me just sudo. Yeah, so it, it is working now. So I don't have any minion connected at this stage. So I now I have a salt st uh, master running already. If I had uh, minions connected, then I would see those uh, showing up here right now. Once they connect uh, and associate with the master, they would be you know uh, authenticated and all that. <coughs> to this stage. Uh, so let's. Uh, and you can run debug level and all that. If you have multiple interfaces on your uh, system or VM, or then you may want to configure a specific interface to uh, to listen uh, Salt Master. And you also have to make sure these these are allowed. These ports are allowed if you have a in a complex firewall. So for me, for me uh, it's pretty simple. So just gonna see what we have. You can see this file here. Okay, so it has all the information. It's uh, you know well documented. So the ports, the interface. Right now it's listening to everything. Uh, this VM has only one uh, network interface card, so it should be okay. Uh, but that's about it, I think. Um, so thank you for watching and I will show you uh, installing Salt Minion at a later video pretty soon and then you can and show you how they all work together. Uh, thank you.